Hey, Doombots. Forward hat Tony Skinjui here to talk to you on behalf of Fox Next. Now, we listen. We, we've heard rumors that people are no longer interested in playing the game as much or they're getting burned out or the rewards aren't great or there's too many bottlenecks. And, and you know, we have people that gather this information and then they print it out in a nice file and then they leave it on our desk uh, and we take it and we recycle it because we care about the environment. We don't read it. That's not necessary because every time someone complains about red star orbs, two people buy them. And every time somebody complains about how hard U7 is, someone spending cores to accelerate to 100%. And every time someone uses crocodile tears to discuss how hard it must be for the average player, the free-to-play player, or the very low spender, they rip out their credit card and make the next purchase for a new character. So while we are listening to the feedback you're giving, like more access, more availability, new content, turns out that Without doing anything, things kind of stay the same. So we're going to go ahead and keep doing that. And since, you know, Red Star Orbs were loved by our bank accounts, we're probably going to release ISO 8s in a very similar way, where, sure, we'll give a handful of them out to the community a week. Just, you know, you can even farm some of them. But if you're not buying the ISO 8 packs, eh you're not going to be doing too well because for every complaint that anyone has ever levied, we kept making money. That's that. Thanks for watching. Ha. All right. Uh, regular Tony back just to kind of address something. Now I made a video a while ago saying, don't quit. Just play the game a little bit more casual. And you know, some people, have quit. I have a message that I don't want to show because I don't know if the person who sent it to me wants their name out. Um, but I, I will edit it and put it like right, wait, do, 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 there, there, here, somewhere. I'll put that somewhere to show. I'm getting messages like this a lot. People are just, in spite of the idea of, you know, just drop down a little bit, play it a little bit less uh, competitive or whatever you were doing, trying to take away the drain and the monotony of parts of this game because it's just not fun because whatever reason, uh, I've been trying to convince people, no, don't leave. And in spite of that, people are leaving. Now, sure, new people are coming in, but that's not really good. Like people should be staying and new people should be coming in. So. A lot of decisions they've been making have been continued attempts to to fix something, and and they're just missing the mark. Now, some people say that the over uh, the conversation about the Marauders milestones were exaggerated, and it wasn't an issue, and they're they're entitled to that opinion. Uh, some people are saying purple these mutant gear, these specific orbs that I have on screen right now, they are uh, positive. For the community uh, because they're free right they you just stuff you get so why would you complain about something you get for free and I hear this and it, I, I try to register it and it, it doesn't make sense because if everything Fox next is doing is great why are people leaving if all of these micro actions are great why are people leaving it's still happening. It's happening even more frequently. Recently, two former whales have joined my alliance uh, because they just don't want to do it. They don't want to deal with it anymore. They don't want to deal with the Fox Next stuff. They don't want to deal with having to spend to stay competitive at the top. And I understand it. And they're welcome with open arms. And we have fun. I hope they'll let me know after this video if they're not having fun. I don't like the idea of people quitting a game that I like. This is not a monetary thing. I don't care. Once I spend money in a game, that money's gone. Period. It's gone. 
I, I'm, I, this isn't an investment. This is a hobby. I spent my time. I intend on recouping none of it. I just want to enjoy myself. Uh, the thing that I take out of this is the friends, uh, the community, the, the experiences, and the ability to tell stories about how terrible Fox Next is as a company. That's something that will uh, carry with me forever. Uh, other than that, whether this game succeeds or fails has very little effect on me and most people. But with the decisions they've been making now, it shows not that they're not trying uh, to make changes. Like the, the Marauder's Milestone looks like they did try to do something. It shows just exactly how tone deaf they are regarding what constitutes a catch-up mechanic or what constitutes something that benefits the community. They, they're, they're missing the mark. And you don't have to go much further than Reddit to find 10,000 people who know how to fix the gold problem or how to fix this. Like, the, the solutions exist. They're not looking for the solution. They're looking for the least they can do to get away with it, and to get away with what they're doing. The least they can do to make people not quit. And, and that feels bad. Now, I don't know if there's change coming in there. I've just recently heard that ISO 8s, uh, upon release, are likely to have a paywall behind them. Not the core of ISO 8. Like, people will be able to obtain them probably a little bit more frequently than the way we currently obtain Red Star Orbs in the game, uh, in that they will should be uh, farmable, uh, node farmable to that extent. But that there will be a difference between the style of ISO 8s the average player average player can accomplish and the sheer number of ISO 8s that people are interacting with or, or able to accomplish. Now this is our ISO 8s are functionally an RNG stat. They you don't know until you've invested in them what they're going to look like, who they're going to be good for, how they're going to be useful. You're it's more or less a, similar to Red Stars where until you open that orb, it could be a seven red star Captain Marvel or a one red star Hawkeye. And you don't know until you open it. Very similar to ISO 8s, in my understanding. So I think that's the disconnect that's going to cause the biggest problem. I think someone at Fox Next is going to make decisions based on former monetary success and not pay attention to other metrics that matter. For example, I've said uh, numerous times on my stream, um, if I was in any decision-making position in Fox Next, the only metric I would care about, especially now with the company being for sale, is growth uh, versus attrition. As long as my growth margin is high, I would be okay with not necessarily making Eight million, ten million dollars a month with my top IP in the entire world, second top IP behind Pokemon. I understand that would be what I would focus on because growth comes with money. More people care about word of mouth than anything else, and I know it's very unlikely that most people will tell others, tell friends, "Hey, you should play this game." If they know that, well, yeah, but one, we're never going to interact with each other. So, like, I can't put you in my alliance. I could, but, like, you would hold us back or you wouldn't be able to do anything. You wouldn't have fun. It would be a chore. And even then, accelerating you quicker, which actually doesn't work that much. If I put a very low-level person in my alliance right now and was capable of giving them a whole bunch of Tier 4s, they're still not going to have gold uh, abilities, characters, in order to do it. They can't do anything with it. There's no carry in this. Uh, so... I have no incentive to interact with people. I can't help them. I can't give them anything. I can give them a little bit more uh, items or gear than they would normally be receiving, but it's not going to change their time. It's not going to aid them. And realistically, it's just going to be the fastest way to turn this into just another job they do, another daily task that they have. And that's what's probably causing the biggest part of burnout. So I'm not trying to advocate for people leaving. I never have been, I never will be. But I am trying to advocate for change because something has to change. People can't keep leaving. And it's not whales. It's not all whales. It's not all 
free to play players. It's people who are just sick and tired of Alliance War, Gamma, U7 clearly being tuned for ISO 8s that we don't have yet, release characters, not having new and exciting content, which does not include character releases, you know, not having any information about what Dark Dimension 3 is going to look like other than it will exist and you need to have gear tier 14 characters with these specific setups. They're, they're making an attempt. It's just not working. So something has to change. So if something has to change, someone has to be the catalyst for it. And it could be anybody. This is Anne Buckingham. Anne Buckingham is the Senior Vice President, Global Brand Developer, Global Consumer Product Licensing and Merchandising Business Executive for Disney Parks, Experiences, and Products. If you are truly bothered by what's happening, if you believe there needs to be a change, this is the person to contact. Now, if you want to contact her and, and yell, that's great. You're going to uh, be ignored and will accomplish nothing. But if you're going to contact her with honest opinions of things you have a problem with how Fox Next might be treating Disney's IP, well, then you might get somewhere. I'm not saying this is something, I'm not raising pitchforks. I'm saying something has to change, and I don't believe Fox Next has any interest in doing it. So when all else fails, fresh tactics. If you're interested, Ann Buckingham. That's the name of the person you can reach out to and contact. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm still going to be playing this game. Uh, I've made a promise to my community that so long as ISO 8s are released in a fair and reasonable method, I don't care if they release a pack that says 100 for $40. As long as the average player can accomplish a, a task of farming and getting new ISO 8s every week, I have no problem with the idea of there being more accessible by spending access to them. I do have a problem with uh, quality or rarity. If you can get better ISO 8s by spending than you could by farming, that's an issue. If everything is RNG on top of RNG, that's an issue. So those are my two cents on that line. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. This is a just a funny rant video. Very calm about it if I can be. Uh, and hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, leave your comments below if you agree, disagree, think I'm a jerk, whatever. I'll listen to them all. I'm on for about an hour after every time I post a video, so... I'll be able to get a response to you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.